So this is Jeff Yemen again, and I'll be talking to you in the next few lectures about CRUD using the Java driver. So if you recall from Richard's lectures about the shell, our operations for CRUD are called insert, find, update, and remove. Those are the operations in the shell, and they have the same names in the Java driver. Before we get into those, we need to talk for a little while about how documents are represented in the Java driver. So one form of the insert method takes a single document. So the question is, what is the type of the parameter um, that we pass to insert? So you might think at first glance that we pass a map. That would be a good guess. And furthermore, we might think that that is a map using generics of string to object. But there's a problem with using map. And the problem is that since these documents are used all over the place for all the operations, insert, find, update, remove, in some cases, the order of the keys within the map actually matter. So since not all map implementations guarantee the ordering of keys, it's a little dangerous if we use map as the type of the documents. So we don't do that. So the next thing you might think is that we use a implementation of map that guarantees order, like a uh, linked hash map. But that was felt to be a little too constraining because there might be some cases where you'd want to use a different kind of map. So we don't use that either. What actually is used is an interface called DB object, which is an interface defined in the Java driver. And DB object is a map-like thing. It has a lot of the same methods of map, but it's not actually a map. It could have actually implemented map, but for reasons that are a little bit lost to history, it does not implement map. And at this point, it's not possible to retrofit it without breaking binary compatibility. But we do use DB object, which is an interface. And there is a concrete class, which also is provided by the Java driver, which implements DB object. And that class is called basic DB object. So DB object is the type of all the parameters to all these methods. It's used for representing documents and also for representing sort criteria that we pass to find, field selection for find, update operations for update like dollar set, and so forth. So let's take a look at how this looks in code. So let's create a class called document representation test. And we're not going to actually do any CRUD operations, we're just going to show you how to create documents add a main method and create a variable of type basic db object. And you can see that ultimately basic db object implements db object. And I should say furthermore that basic db object ultimately extends linked hash map. And linked hash map, if you don't know this class, is a class that guarantees that the order of the keys when you iterate is the same as the insertion order. So I can do things like dot dot put and start adding fields and their values. I can use different types, obviously. So I can say dot dot put birth date equals new date, some random date. I can use booleans, and I can use numbers. I'm eight years old. OK, so that gives you a nice flat document. But we also, if you remember from Richard's lectures, documents in Mongo can have nested substructure, just like JSON. So I can do things like add arrays, like this, languages, sorry. And I can say Java C++. And I can also add subdocuments. So a subdocument is just represented as another basic DB object. Let me show you a few tricks with subdocuments here. So I want to do this all as one expression. So one thing I can do to shorten this up is I'm going to say there's a, an address field. And it's a subdocument. And one of the things you can do with basic DB object in the constructor is pass it an initial key and value. So I can say my street is 20 main street. And then I can call a method called append on basic DB object to append additional values. So I can say town 
Westfield, append, zip, oops, missing a dot. And the nice thing about append is that it just returns itself, which lets you chain the append methods. I can create a whole complicated document here in a single expression. So that's basically when it comes to document representation with the Java driver. The CRUD methods that you'll see in the upcoming lectures take DB objects, and the find method returns DB object. But when you actually want to create new instances of DB object, you would typically create instances of the class basic db object, which is a linked hash map that guarantees the ordering of the keys. Okay, I think it's time for a quiz now. How would you create a document using the Java driver with this JSON structure? An ID underscore ID field with a value user1 and an interest field with a value that's an array with two values, basketball and drumming. 